Hey guys, welcome back to Little Lady Plays. Today we are going to have the second game, and this is somebody. The first game I introduced was kind of um, just like getting to know the body, and this one takes it to the next level. So you're going to need the yellow reference cards, the body parts, and of course the game board. The one thing I will suggest, it does come with another reference card. I think at this point, when I introduce it to the kids, they more or less know where the body is, so we really didn't need it so much, but here's how you play. Um, there's, I like it, there's two levels of play. The first level of play is you pick up a card and the child ooh, gets to read it. Uh, of course, experiment wild card. Not very helpful now. Let's try the next one. Oops. Uh, large intestines. Which body part finishes digesting your food? So if the kids are looking at it, which is something, I guess it depends if you're teaching them. Personally, I think you should actually do a small unit study on biology before you play these. But if not, then I guess cheat sheet. So the kids are just matching up the body parts. And as you can see here, they have the body parts, large intestines, and they have to match it up to what they remember. Now, if you did do a unit study and your kids do know, which I really hope that's the truth in most cases, then one child will read it. Will read it. Which body part allows you to remember and answer to this? Remember the answer to this question. So now the kids they see all their body parts and they actually have to think. Oh, it's the brain. So it's more like a guessing game. Uh, which body part has the tiniest bone in the body? So as an educator, because of course you want the kids to actually know the questions, flip through these cards first, teach them the information, and then play this game once they have a little understanding. So I think this game could really be a great asset to the classroom because instead of just teaching, they're actually using the knowledge, playing a guessing game, and who doesn't love stickers? So in my opinion, Somebody Game Number 2 is really cute, totally recommend it. If you have any questions about this game, well then let me know because these cards are really easy, simple information, very clear pictures, which is a plus. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe because here we are all about education. And when your kids are happy, that's when they're learning most. Happy playing.